Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to extend the controls on your PWM or Pulse Width Modulator Digital Speed Controller for your trolling motor. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. This is the PWM I'm going to be using in this project. Here is the forward and reverse switch. Here is the on, off, and power switch. And what I'm going to be doing is extending the wiring for both these approximately four feet into a small remote box that's easier to handle on your kayak. And the PC board itself will be mounted in its own box for installation somewhere else. This is the cable wiring I'm going to use. It is an eight conductor, 22 gauge stranded wire in a cable wrapping. And you can see here, I've separated all these for now. And the reason I wanted to use eight conductors is because you have five leads that go to the potentiometer and three that go to your forward reverse switch. So in order for this to all work with one cable, I needed the eight conductors. This is my remote box setup. First thing I did was measure the holes that I needed to make. I needed to make a rectangular hole for the forward reverse switch, a circular hole for the potentiometer, and another circular hole for the waterproof gland nut. And the box I chose, this is actually the bottom plate. You can see it has the four screw holes in each corner. But I decided to make this the top plate because if this ever happened to be laying down in a layer of water, there would be more protection because it would take quite a bit of water for it to reach the upper lip here. And it's just an extra added safety factor. So the first hole I drilled here was for the gland nut, you can see there. And then I'll take the lid off to make it a little bit easier to see. And here's my potentiometer hole and the hole for the forward and reverse switch. And then when you do all that and connect everything up, this is what it looks like. At this point, I have installed the gland nut and you need to run the cable through that first before you do any soldering otherwise you're going to have to take it all apart and you can see the wire has eight different color codes and here's my potentiometer switch and here is my forward reverse switch so what I'm going to do is cut these wires on each of these in half and splice in my new cable now so I wouldn't get confused with all the wiring I did each little plug first like with this plug there's three wires so I went ahead and cut those and spliced into this now all the colors are not going to be the same just because that's just the way wiring is so if I was to say hook up this yellow to a white I would have to remember that on this back end so as I wired up and spliced each wire I would do it first with the pot and then to where it plugged into the PC board that way I wouldn't get confused and all my connections are wrapped first then they're soldered and then I use marine shrink fit over the connection this is the final wiring I've done now one of the important things to remember is how you run your cable through each of these boxes to make sure it hooks up right. As you can see here, this is my remote box with my gland nut, and it's coming up here into the top for both the forward reverse switch and the on off power switch here. And you can see all my little connections here, they're all twisted, soldered, and then heat shrunk together. And then as you go out the back end here of the remote, you see it goes through the top of the actual box that the PWM is going to be in and then this is coming through the bottom and you can see how I have all my connections here with all the plug-ins and like I said earlier I made sure that whatever color I chose in this 
eight conductor cable that it matched on the back end here so everything will run correctly. The PWM and the remote have been wired and put in each of their respective boxes. I also have my testing trolling motor hooked up to the power. So now we're going to go ahead and try it out. Here's my remote. And there's the prop turning. Turn it off, put it in the reverse. And there we have it. So the remote works just fine. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.